Jump is going to generate a list of tasks that you can sync to your CRM, and you can access these tasks by going to the meeting page and looking under the follow up tasks section here on the right column. You can sync these tasks to your CRM by clicking on sync to, which will give you an overview of all your tasks, and you can go into any of the fields here and make any changes. For example, if I wanted to change the due date or the assignee, I simply click into the field and make that change. If you have any workflows in Wealthbox or Redtail that you need to sync these tasks to, you can also click into the type field and change the type from activity or task to workflow. Or if you use cases in Salesforce, you can also change the task to a case. Once you're ready to sync these tasks over, make sure you click in the related to box at the top to choose what or who you're going to associate these tasks with. Before I complete the sync, I do like to review if any of these tasks don't need to end up in my CRM. I'm going to uncheck any of the options under the activities to sync column so that it doesn't show up in my CRM. I also like to delete any of my unsynced tasks so they're not hanging around in Jump 2. Once we're ready to sync the tasks over, we'll click on the Sync These Tasks to Your CRM button at the bottom and the task will be complete. You'll know that the sync is successful if you look next to follow-up tasks and you see a green check mark.